Welcome everybody to uh, Banishers. I'm looking forward to getting into this game. Uh, I want to give you, I guess, a quick little uh, synopsis of this game. But uh, I guess our main character, this guy, and Anteo Duarte and Red Mac Wraith are lovers and banishers, ghost hunters who have vowed to protect the living from lingering ghosts and specters following a disastrous last mission. And Treya is fatally wounded, becoming one of the very spirits she loves. In the haunted wilds of North America, the couple desperately searches for a way to liberate Antea from her new plight while trying to lift an ominous curse from New Eden. So, <clears throat> that's a little, I guess, kind of backstory or a little bit about it. I, don't, I haven't played this game, so I don't know maybe it'll tell you that as you uh, or when you first start it. Uh, I know that this game, uh, the decisions you make in this game drastically affect the outcome of the game. So, if, kind of like other games where if you do a lot of bad stuff, you'll have the bad ending or, or whatever. But, apparently that, I guess that's not an, 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 an Tia. Maybe that's, that's Red Mac. That's Red Mac. Okay. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. Good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Antea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. 
It comes to us all. To haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd wanted to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. at the tavern with a hot grog or two All right, we're gonna be oh, I think <clears throat> I'm weary of long boring sea voyages to grim fun I can't remember the last time we did something else than work after this we should set sail somewhere warm and safe the dead don't linger no such place. But it's not a bad idea. I like warm places. I prefer warm places. Cold weather sucks. That isn't how grim this place is. I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. Let's take a look. Visually pretty good. I like it. Put a lot of work into it. it looks really good. <clears throat> Very beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm just hitting buttons to see what they do. I'm sure it'll tell me even. Uh, yep. I took a health potion, I think. I learned how to run. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Looks steady enough. There we go. Ooh. Piece of candy. Oh, wrong button. Um, Antea. I'm looking. <coughs> Hold on, red. Come on. Yes. Watch out! Watch out, big wood. Oh. So you okay, Red? You're not welcome here. Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Mm, I'll go this way. Practices. Then here, boyfriend. Good thing that torch is there. Oh, I see him. He's up there. Good jump. Oh. You do not belong here. Nepal. <clears throat> got time. Oh. Everything all right down there? 
Ah, just, just killing some ghosts. Wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Oh, these specters watching the road. Yes. Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town, or are they keeping them in? Oh, good slide. Something's flashing. We should take. Oh, we got some leather. <clears throat> so, we're going to be have the ability to build stuff. Armor or something. Oh, more wonders. Get him! <clears throat> Behind you! Ooh, what was that? How did he do that? Yeah, it's easy as falling off a box. Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever doesn't go well. I think nope. Get up here. No, oh, it's a trap. I knew it. Banishment. Uh, attacking with your weapon fills the banishing gauge. When the banish gauge is full, press X to banish the target. Time to leave. Down you go. Banish. that give me that specter dust I always need plenty of specter dust oh we got a letter uh, perhaps these words will be lost in time but I must write them the date I cannot say I know it's the month of June in the year 1695 God, long time ago I thought we'd be safer in Providence I thought we would finally see the children again and the golden wheat fields would ring uh, with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead, and I shall join her soon. Something insidious walks these roads. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. You who read this now, I tell you, run. Very welcoming. These people left to meet in town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? Got lots of leather. Uh, a ghost plague. That's what's happening here. Ghost. Ghost, ghost, ghost. I'm the ghost, ghost, ghost. What R2 do clear to deal a charge? Scared at all. <clears throat> Gotta break everything. You never know what you'll find underneath. You know, a piece of wood on the ground. That all goes badly for the case. Situation's worse than you thought. Where'd it's you come from? What Charles has to say. Aren't you below me? Charles! You son of a... Empty docks and a growing sand. Mother's uncle? Not a good sign. I need rope. Selectmen sitting on their asses. Isn't that what selectmen do? This game when looks really town, good. We may need to split up. I know how to sprint. Around. You may count on the most responsible student of Vanish <gasps> Tracks! We'll see if you remember some of your teaching. What's that play if game we played? Afraid. Always. Where were they going? Can we go that way? Just care. Their own crops. 
people who fear pestilence or disease. I wonder if there's something over there. Let's go this way. Very biblical. Then we'll we'll look around. I think. <clears throat> Boston, Fort Jericho, and the Harrow's Hamlet. Not the busiest stables I've ever seen. No ostler and no horses. If they bummed the crops, found the town. Food. Made it. And they probably eat the horses. The welcoming committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. Nope. And a try. Oh, I see a light on. See Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you like to know Area of investigation. You have reached the location of your current objective. Your compass, uh, it either would rate a pretty word. A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure yeah, for you, you are just inside the area this chance. Do we have? Oh. There is a map. Is this the end there? No. More rats. Uh, in. It's up. Well, let's go do that way. This must be the inn. Where? What does that say? Doomsday has come. What, is this the inn? Locked, homie. Ah! Found it. Found it, found it, found it. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Pour us a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McWraith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is Thick Skin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. Oh, she's dead. The esteemed select woman can be <clears throat> brusque. Forgive her. And rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils and that's to find a out. Spanish My expertise in military uniform is of little use. That's what it looks like to Mistress me. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, 
as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave, or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. Apparently. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. Uh, could your physician not... What do you think happened? What do you think happened? I could guess, to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try in all humility to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Their house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Uh, about the curse. Why is the town so empty? You're, you study demonology? Yeah. Why you study You're demonology? A demonologist, you say? <clears throat> I am that. Like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem, which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said, as the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock, as Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Uh. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same, because we must. Aye. Because we must. Yeah, why is the town? Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Uh. <clears throat> those who left. Where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements. Anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. So it's cold in June, and there's dark woods. Awesome. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken. Perhaps forever. This place spooky as shit. Uh, about the curse. What can you tell me about the curse? Not a fucking thing, probably. I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. 
Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. Mm. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. Uh, what, Charles what did Charles know about it? What had he learned? Tragically, I had not yet had the opportunity to discuss his investigation. And his passing now excludes the possibility. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right. For Charles. Yeah. That's a long conversation. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. We can't stay at the I'll inn? Be here if you need me. What's the point of having an inn if I can't stay here? Dumbest shit I ever fucking heard. Take it! My letter. Uh, as announced at the last town hall meeting, I hereby close the King's Armed Tavern, leaving the key to the settle the selectmen. There shall be no ale sold nor drunk until the curse is lifted and I return. The storerooms are locked, and so are the bedrooms. God bless. Well, no wonder everyone left. They stopped allowing booze. That's like one thing back in that these people had to enjoy. Going to the pub and getting trashed. Alright, can we go up here? Locked. Locked. Oh, we got some. Ooh. Piece, pieces of eight. Isn't that bad? Bad luck. I don't know. Alright, let's go visit the widow. Uh, the compass indicates the direction and distance Charles. towards the objective. Follow the yellow marker. Sea storms. I already know that. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. Uh. These people have no idea what they're up against. Who are you? Thick skin, right? We're sorry to disturb you. It'll take more than you to disturb me. What do you want? Uh, yeah. Are you leaving? I take it you intend to leave town. Bloody right, I do. New Eden is dying, and anyone who stays is dead or deranged. Who cut your face up? Will you go alone? I'll take my sister and anyone else who wishes. You may come too if you wish. You look like you can handle yourself. Uh. There's no hope for New Eden then. Not till the weather changes, and it don't look like changing. What's your role here, if you don't mind me asking? Lately, I do what needs doing when no one else will, weakened as they are by comfort and the curse. In normal times, I hunt. Now, though. It's cold enough to freeze the nankies off an horse, and the game rots as quick as you can get it home. You can't eat a ghost, can't skin it, can't sell it, so what'll be the use? What's her? It's like Irish, but not. You so, know what I mean? the curse. Her accent. What do you think is going on? I think nothing much about it. I think folk sickened and the crops failed. I think folk went mad. And I know we found the Reverend dead. Uh, yep. What of the governor? Anything I should know? That useless clatwagger. With Davenport dead, godly folk look to be led. Fairfax Askell couldn't be happier. I pity he'll get them all killed. What of the captain? 
Now there's a man of worth. Without Saul Pennington, there'd be no town left at all. These last months have been hard on him. I hope his metal holds. If I had my way, he'd be coming with us. I don't give a rat's knacks for loyalty. Rat's the knacks. captain does. The captain seems like a douche. Better help. Well then, thank you for your help. Aye. Here. <laughs> we should go to Esther. I think the yeah. governor said that house stood above the docks. Does that mean it's this way? There not be any ghosts down here. There's some spooky music. Did I see some shiny? I did. Ah, got some more wild shervil. Or the hell that is. Here? Esther, you home? slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What does that mean to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Uh, yeah. Anything we need to know? Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I Why cannot do we need to know that? It, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. Oh, I knew we got to banish here, him. I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. How were things? You know, before all this. Before the curse. It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now. But I can't imagine it's the same. Hmm. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. What does that mean? He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He's an academic. Still, he's a demonologist. Good to have a has some understanding of our work. We met the captain too, along with the huntress Thickskin. Do you know them? I find Thickskin New Smith's manner a little frightening. But I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just sad. 
Charles mm. thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. All right. We'll take a look around, if that's all right. We're going to go cleanse your husband's spirit. May How do we do that? Any help? Mm, stay put. We'll uh, find the way. I... What is this? After seeing her husband's ghost grieving widow, Esther Davenport was deeply depressed. Uh, and having a portrait of someone joyful and educated, good friend of Antia, and Red is now a young widow who has lost her. She didn't look that young to me. Chronicles? Evolution. Alright. Well, we got keys? Where do we get keys? Or is this. Oh, we got that. Resources and all. Okay, and our map. Dope. What do you got here? What do you hide? A new Scotch tune in G major by Henry Pur Oh, that's trash. Who gives a shit? Purcell. Could you find Is nothing better? These days I lack them. Uh. Oh. Uh, I understand why Charles lingers investigate the study. Investigate the bed. Oh, I know why he lingers if he's in the bedroom. Giggity. Uh, although the path has held surprise many bad omens, Red and Tia at last reached New Eden Town and set out in the search of their friend Davenport. Gunner of New Eden informed the Banishers that Charles was dead. Blah, blah, blah. The Banishers was something disturbing. She told them that she felt his presence. Okay. The heart to play. Can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. What is this? But you cannot part a pianist from their beloved keys. Ah, she said penis. Uh, fifth day of January, nineteen or sixteen, nineteen, sixteen day of January. My beloved Esther, how I long to hold you in my arms. The announcement of your marriage was told to my heart as a delicacy on the palate, a sweet of which one cannot tire at last we shall be together and together forever and ever until the day many years from now when we are old and at last death separates us for only death can extinguish the, the love between us and i assure that not even death can undo the tenderness i feel uh oh he's just saying he's going to haunt you right there well uh, i want everything to be perfect by our marriage and i will not i will make it so i will write you to every day until the last blessed moment that I can finally shed the weight of letters to tell you in person every day. I am thinking of you, f your love forever, Charles. Aw. What's this? Another letter? 21st day of February 1687. My sweet Esther, I can tell you how much I long to get home. This work in the mystical Scottish Highlands is exciting and I, I can, can't argue with that, but I miss the sweetness of our home. However, I know that the few months I have left away from your loving arms will be a great benefit to me. Although this experience, I will increase my knowledge, and all this I do to protect my you from the, those dark worlds I swirl around us. It is your love and trust that pushes me into these mysterious enchantments that pushes me to my do my best. It is for you that I do this, for when I can see the pride in your eyes, then I know that what role I play on this earth. I know that I can be stronger. I know I can do anything as long as you look at me with the spark that is only yours. I am thinking of you, your love, Charles. I think Charles likes you. Um, where are we going? All right, we got. We looked at that. We looked. At, oh, what we got? How pleasant to see these old familiar things from your house oh, in London. How pleasant that it is to see many a dinner turned lecture. See your plates. Charles. Oh. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. What's this? Jesus. November 1694, my dearest Charles. How did I was to read the words? It's always a pleasure to hear from you. And now to know that yourself and your beloved Esther are doing well. I have contracted, contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we could not find anything in our archives that matches the description of the events you have experienced in New Eden. Be that as it may... 
pestilence and never-ending winters are phenomena perhaps too broad for us to pinpoint the exact cause. I can give you, uh, I can give you no better answer, be it sorcery, the presence of an icor, or something else entirely we cannot say. All I can do is investigate and, or invite you to continue your research and to take note of all the obstructions our Brotherhood of Saint Paul's soul has has so little presence in new world and new information shall be precious indeed. Please stay safe, my friend, yours truly, Eleanor Combs. I didn't know Eleanor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only I... we had known what would befall us. All right, shut up. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although what? Mr. Bachelor came to see me, that was nice of him. Mm. The plot thickens. Some, I think, someone had a crush on her. This What's is this? Charles's. It's like he never left. This, this cape. Answer some food and ale for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbors hold you in their hearts. Aw. That's nice of them. What's... There's more to learn here. Oh, I can't leave. Uh, what's this? A set of H. Purcell's uh, Chaconi in G minor for strings by E. Davenport. Sanus and Interval are a study of the Alien scale by... Make me think, read things I don't know. Um, we looked at all that, looked at all that, looked at that, looked at that. Go upstairs, Esther. I'm gonna go through your underwear drawer. Charles is still here, and Esther is completely distraught. She ah. lost him, and now he's back, a ghastly figure. Not a wig. It must be unbearable. Man wig. Remember when he started to wear these? I knew it. Wiser and older. <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Who wants to look older? Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He was a good man. What's in here? Ooh. Oh, it's a chess piece. A precious king from a chess set protected by a glass dome. That's kind of... That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? I think it has a different meaning. I think that has something to do. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Oh, a map. Can we flip it or anything? A nice looking map. Thanks for letting me look at you. Uh, let's do that last. None of this side of the water, a few of the older know that I came to New Eden as minister in order to pursue research into the New World on behalf of the Brotherhood of St. Paul's Stole. Stole? And what was strange? And what strangeness have I found? There are ghosts here. Yes, old and innumerable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the world aloud, the word aloud, but I suspect there to be witches. <gasps> if I find one, I shall very much like to ask her for her story. It's the governor. He's a witch. Todd Fur de Totem. By Balabasar Hans Frying for her, her, for her, for her. Another book. Former Icarus by Joanna Nidler. Nider. Uh, Charles Personal. Okay. A lot of shit. A lot of shit in here. Let's look at this. 
Job 7, Job, Job 7, 13, 15, 13, when I say my bed shall comfort me, my couch shall ease my complaints. 14, then shall scariest me with dreams and terrif terrifice me through visions. 15, so that we shall chooseth strangely and death rather than my life. She comes to me in my dreams. Who? Charles's notes mention Job chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. <laughs> Oh, look, you found something. Reference. Red, you dropped something. Mm hmm. Yeah. What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promise of a doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions foreshadowing someone behind this who is the real target and what caused this anger to burst forth? I need to know how it gets into our heads. Sleep no longer offers rest. And this cannot purdue. Perjure. Perjure? These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settler's dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Hint obtained. Worried about the influence of that threatening spirits and head on the settlements. Right, check the bedroom. The boudoir. Boudoir? Boudoir? Oh, yeah, we're take. Take, take, take. Where do nightmares come from? Um, good lord, Charles. We're not reading all that. Not reading all that. Not reading all that. A silver brooch. Habitually worn by Charles Stafford and grayed with a distinctive three hilted sword. Men wore brooches? Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listened. I'd always let my mind wander. No children on an heritage of the Lord and the fruit of the womb is his reward. Psalm 127.3 Three drops of lavender oil and, and chamomile infusion before sleep. When we're going to rub between palms and behind ears three times a day. If rustless persists, use lemon balm. Evelyn. Nah. Some type of Voodoo medical treatment. Uh, my dearest sister, Charles, is dead. <gasps> what? I cannot tell right from left. I cannot tell which day it is or how long ago my Charles, a part of my world, has come undone. Nothing happens as it is supposed to. I could not attend the burial, the shame of it, how I have failed my dear husband. I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk to the place where Charles died, there to see him buried. Lord, have mercy on us and guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband's husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that you, who loved him so, should know of his passing. My love, Esther. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. <laughs> Poor woman. Ah. Or did not properly bid her husband farewell. Ooh, that could be why. That could be why he's hanging around. That's terrible for him. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back. We should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. 
Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Probably. Did I fail him? Did I fail Charles? None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. Ah. Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But now Charles is gone and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him, none respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. Hmm. We must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful. Dear Antea. Alright. The fuck? How do you get out of here? Ah, got it. Look at the camera. There we go. Yeah, yeah. There we go. Alright, we're going to end this one here. Um, I hope you guys... Enjoying the first episode of Banishers. Uh, this game is interesting. It looks pretty good. Visually, looks really good. Um, kind of easing into the story. So, hopefully, it picks up here soon. But, as always, uh, uh, I hope you enjoy. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll check you later. Peace.